again, I'm Phil Deed for the 9 to 5 Out Loud Does Check. We're continuing on with the review of the Asus V25 MIDI controller. Once again, I'm Kill David, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Tech. And I'm reviewing, I've already unboxed it, and I'm reviewing, as you can see, and I'm reviewing the Alasis V25 25 key USB MIDI keyboard controller. Got it off of Amazon. $50 e-gift card. Paid about $45.23 to get it. We're gonna hook up this bad boy. First, I unraveled the USB cable that came with it. See, the lights come on. Drum pad, the assignable knobs here. One, two, three, four. I've had this for about five days. I got it Wednesday, and so far I'm in love with it. And of course, it does come with free software, and then after that, you have the option of unlocking the software, being a paid member, but it's actually on a subscription basis. It's not like a one-time, one-fee kind of thing. But there are free apps out there. You just Google, Google search, go on YouTube, whatever you got. Um, iMac and iMac, MacBook, any Apple device or even Windows devices or Android. So I got this on my Dell laptop. It's an app called Arcade. Right now they're offering a 30-day trial. Of course, you do have to put your credit or debit card on there. After which you can cancel or if you decide, you can go on the monthly or you can go by the yearly. The yearly, of course, has it's $99 a year. Whereas the monthly is $10 a month, which of course when you think about it, you're gonna go for a year. But pay as you go, I decided if I did, it would be a $10 a month. And speaking of messing around, check this out. By the way, I don't have any musical um, training or music theory or any of that, but anybody can hack something. Think about it. What does it take to make a good beat? A part that anyone can make a beat out of nothing. There's like thousands of mods in this app called Arcade, but there's other apps as well I'm experimenting with. Ghost Hack and many others. Now, one thing I should mention is that this, since this is a USB keyboard, Unless you already have a speaker system hooked up to your laptop, the basic sound is going to come out of your laptop. Or if you got headphones, Bluetooth headphones, as long as it's connected to your main device, you can actually listen to it discreetly well, in case you've got neighbors, like which I do, because I live in an apartment complex. But I will mention too is that, let's say you don't have a major speaker system to monitor hooked up to your laptop, desktop, or whatever. An auxiliary cable plugged into this Bluetooth speaker I also got from Amazon, that's at 40 watts. Now that's the pitch wheel you just heard. Listen. And then you got the mod wheel. And then we got the eight cents, the eight pads, drum pad. some random run of the mill shit. And there's pressure sensitivity. See it? 
on Amazon. It's currently going for eighty nine ninety nine. But if you're a Prime member, you don't have to pay any shipping. Hmm? Also, I use a fifty dollar e gift card, so I only had to pay, like I said, forty five twenty three or forty five twenty seven, whatever the actual balance due was. Now, in this series, you can only do so much with twenty five keys. Well. The next in this Alesa series is the V49. And that's, of course, you're going to have 49 keys and you'll have much, much to work with. This is how big the key, this is how long the keyboard is. That's how big this is going to be. It would enough to fill up the entire desk. And this, of course, studio quality. But there's also the V61. And then you have the VI25, the VI49. I don't think there's a VI69. But this will actually have double the uh, drum pads. You'll have 16 drum pads. You'll have probably about eight additional assignment knobs, adjustment knobs. Plus, you have trumpet control, pitch control, and if you look ports that are available, the only two jacks is you have the the USB port obviously connected into my laptop, or the jack for put it plugging in the sustain pedal. So the sustain pedal to sustain the note. But then you don't have that like. You have the pitch wheel. You can warp it. Now we're gonna, since we're using the arcade app, we're gonna switch over. We have the sampler kits. It's something called Passport. I'm gonna try something else. This is like the, what you're gonna see. And remember, this is the 30-day trial version. If you want to step up, you know, after a month, there's also a referral where you can get a month free, even though you're if you're a paid member. So let's try Elephant Stump. And this is a uh, drum machinery. So this is uh the drum app through arcade. It says recommended for 130 to 150 BPM, which of course stands for beats per minute. But listen to the sample. Okay, that's enough. Now we're going to load it up. And here we are. So this is what the typical interface for arcade looks, depending on what mod you use. You have meat, tune, filter, delay, and morpho clock. We'll see what that's about. So when you press a key, look in here, right? Interactively, the button shows up like right there. And since this is a drum app, now you can adjust these interactive filters. Now if you have a touch screen, laptop, or computer monitor you, you can touch that or use a stylus pen that is if you do have a touch screen monitor or laptop Just a tune. See that? Ain't that funky? Now let's check out the drums. Guess not. Cause all the keys are drums. Now there's the morpho clock. Lastly, let's adjust this. I'll bring that up again. So there's various virtual in instruments. 
when using VSTs like these. Let's try pull side. There's you got sampler kits, note kits. These are sampler kits, note kits. You got note kits, and then you have the samples themselves. Listen to this. Gosh. And then you have the instrument selection. Bass, drums, flute, guitar, piano, strings. Let's try... Uh, let's try a beatbox. Because I know there's a lot of hip-hop inspired type. Oops, let's try that. And of course... Let's go straight. We're going to go beatbox EDM. And we're going to go back to the sampler kits. Okay, that's the crate. Oh, getting by. So it's downloading. There's the preview button right there. So see, it downloads. By the way, the files that are integrated into this app are only less than about, I'd say, anywhere between. 100 megabytes or less so it's not going to chunk up your laptop or your desktop when it comes to the hard drive so we play the kit okay this is what it looks like so it's kind of like some laid back chill type feel to it and again you can adjust the settings here dirt pulse tone and wash And I should mention too that the C keys, like usually about in the middle and possibly the D keys, have the sample, which will actually play more than just, will play like a sustained note, almost in a loop. You hear that? So, and then you just mix stuff in there and just play around with it. Some down and nothing. It's just a hack. Basically, it's the middle keys that actually have a sample loop to them. Look at that. And as, as I was talking at the time of this video, I've actually downloaded the drum app, so let's step out of Arcade for a moment. I'm going to load up this new app. And by the way, these apps I've gotten, for the most part, are free, or at the very least, have a free trial, which, of course, you got about a month to try out before you want to decide whether or not you want to unlock it, or go in with a subscription plan, or just work with the freeware, the free software you got, or the plugins. Sounds pretty good for someone who doesn't have any musical training like myself. It's good for making. 
beats. Because face it, if you're going to be doing some hardcore compositions, like if you're a professional musician, you're going to need at least 49 keys or more. Right? Finger drums. Now the other option is finger drumming using with the pads. So let's say if you got a pad, a pad controller, or you have electronic drums, you can use the drums as an option. But right now, for the sake of this unboxing and review and playthrough, it's gonna be MIDI keyboard. So I'll hit start with keys. Okay, we found. And a Laces B25, which I have, which is right in front of you. Play some notes to ensure you can hear audio. Now we're talking. I should tell you that the audio on my laptop is pretty crunchy. Okay. Hey. Hey, once again, I'm killed the you for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Tech. Back at you again. Hear that? That's the drum. Mod. That's the pitch. Now get the volume up. Listen to that. Now, we're going to get some keys. That was an 808, of course. You heard that. Now, let's get some. Let's get some synth. Octaves. That's the octave feature. How's that sound? Now let's get synthy. I should also mention, if you pick up a sustain pedal accessory, you get it for like about under 20 bucks, plug it right into there, and you'll have it underneath your feet, you'll press that and you'll actually sustain notes. Sounds like them 8-bit video games that I grew up playing. I, this, I should tell you, this took all day to get the software to work. Now let's try, let's see here, guitar. Modulate. You can uh, see and make adjustments. Let's 
Okay, let's try some bass. Oh, I know that. I'm gonna adjust the volume up low enough so you can hear. sounds like. Like any old run-of-the-mill hack can come up with something when you think about it. about it for the review of the Alasis B25 25 key USB MIDI keyboard controller got this off of Amazon once again paid a total of 95 with tax however I had a $50 e-gift card so all I did was pay 45.23 it's worth it in my book especially anyone who has a creative outlet this is good. But if you're a producer, this is also good. And if you are an accomplished musician, well, I do recommend getting more than 25 keys, as you can see here. For the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Tech, I have killed the vid. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification button. Your source for brutally honest reviews of cool tech and trends. Take care for now. Stay safe. Not using the pitch wheel. Bye.